What's up guys, it's Paula from the Loose Joints, and today's review is going to be on a pre-order exclusive from GameStop, and it's Dante from Dante's Inferno. This is a NECA figure, so here's the simple packaging, but let's open it up and review it for you guys. So after playing with this figure for about a day, I could say that this is an awesome figure. If you played with the NECA figure before, you won't expect anything less from this figure. Like I said before, this is a pre-order only figure. So if you pre-ordered Dante's Inferno from GameStop, then you should have got this figure. If you didn't, then maybe you want to go back and check it out. Maybe they might have some left. But it's a very cool figure, very detailed. I wouldn't expect anything less from NECA. Right here, you can see all the stitchings, as well as the little artwork flashback sequences, like when they zoom into his chest. Most of them are all on here, which is a very nice touch. He has actual cloth that's tattered up, and actual crosses right here. His leather on his back actually feels like leather, even though it's not leather, but... It feels and looks like it. The Grim Reaper scythe is weathered and detailed. A very nice touch. They could have gone with more weathering on the armor. But th that's a small gripe about the figure. You could do it yourself anyway. <clears throat> as far as articulation, the arm could go all the way around. It just the armor seems a little like it's rubbery. And I'm not sure if. If I rotate it all the way around, if it might fall off or something. But the arm can go out, in, it also bends, swivels, the hand swivels as well, and also bends at the wrist. The head can't really look that far up, but can look down, can go all the way around. The chest has a bend. But it's really tight, so yeah, it's really tight. The waist has a swivel. The leg can move forward, back. It also bends at the knee. Right here, it swivels at the knee as well. The foot has a swivel and also has a bend. So great articulation with the figure as well. You wouldn't expect anything else from NECA. It comes with a good amount of accessories. It comes with an extra hand. I'm not sure like the reasoning for this is. Because they're almost exactly the same. The only difference is that the index figure, finger is a little slightly more bent in this hand. Which is kind of weird. <clears throat> It also comes with the signature Grim Reaper Scythe, like I talked about before. It stores on his back, and you can remove it by just removing it like that. So you can use it like this. You can hold the scythe like this, like that. And <clears throat> you can reattach the scythe back together. Let me see, where is it? Right here. It's also bendable, so you can mimic the actions of the game. It can also rotate up to make it like a spear. Very nice accessory. They could have gave us like a static, just simple Grim Reaper Scythe, but the fact that it's bendable is, gives it a lot more play value. He comes with Beatrice's Cross. And it actually straps on. They don't have little pegs and peg holes. Which is very cool. You just unsheath it like this. I thought it would be kind of hard to take it off and put it back on. But it's really not that hard. You can put it into Dante's hand. And he can use Beatrice's Holy Cross. So, very nice accessory too. They could have just had this stationary but the fact that you can actually take it off is a cool touch 
So for a free pre-order item, I'd say this is well worth the wait. Go to your local GameStops. If they're nice to you, maybe they might give you one for free or something. But very cool figure. I highly rate this. Uh, right now, you can only get this for pre-order at in America, at least in Europe. These actually came out on store shelves, so you might want to check your local Toys R Uses if you have them in Europe or something. But that's my review for you guys. Hope you guys liked it. Subscribe if you want, and I'll catch you guys with my next review. Later, guys.